welcome to my home slash apartment decor series. So today I'm going to show you guys how I went from this tacky basic TV stand to this classy PC stand basically or makeup area or whatever you like to use it for. I'll probably be using it for both my MacBook and editing and also for my makeup tutorials until I build my own vanity which is coming soon to this series. And I just used some cheap products under $20 and I just used some cheap dollar store decor just, you know, for embellishment. But you guys can go to Walmart to get this TV stand and the spray paint comes from there and also you can go to Lowe's for the contact paper. So in the next scene I'm going to show you guys where I went to to get the contact paper. Okay, so this is my local Lowe's, and I'm sure that Home Decor has it too, or Home Depot, but this is just the wallpaper section and the kitchen section, and it should be on the side where you see the lining for the cabinet. This is the one that I'm getting. This is the marble peeling stick. This is the white marble, as you can tell. Now, they do have a, where is it at? Okay, black and white marble. I don't even know where the name is. But it's like this. Now I actually like this one a little better for my table. Because I think it goes better with silver. So I'm probably going to get this one. Somebody already opened it up. It's just so rude. Okay, so I'm on my patio and this is just some poster boards that I found at the dollar store. And this is a regular TV stand that was eight dollars and then like some change from Walmart and this is how it looks and I'm just going to spray paint it using the spray paint that I got from Walmart also this was like three dollars or four dollars and this is metallic finish and this is for wood as well I was gonna do white but I didn't want to be boring so I just want to try something different if I don't like it I'll paint over it well I'll spray paint it white I am just spraying Making sure that I have both sides evenly and I'm not trying to be messy so that I won't get it all over like my neighbor's area and on the ground or whatever. Over here and right. Now you see how perfect it is? Like it really does look really good. It looks like metallic knuckle. Oops. It doesn't matter if I get the top. I'm gonna put contact paper up there anyway. So if you want, you can spray that a little bit. This one is really strong. Okay. So this is the final look as far as the dried up paint, well, spray paint. And it does look very uniform and you do have to be careful with making sure that it dries. Outside it said to let it sit for an hour, but I chose to let it sit for like eight hours overnight because it was kind of sticky So I didn't want to bring that into the carpet and mess up the apartment So yeah, just make sure that you get both sides of the trays and even in the cracks and crevices Because it will show up kind of ashy if you don't and I did actually go over it with an extra layer And I did leave out the top part because the contact paper I didn't want it to have any problems sticking so this is the contact paper or laminate stick and peel paper, whatever they say. This is all I'm using and the scissors, of course. And I basically just, you know, show you guys how I open it and just basically apply it. And these instructions I was about to trash, but they have instructions on the inside. But I'm the type of girl, I like to do it on my own. And I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. It's just peel and stick. You just have to make sure that you, you know, place it down perfectly and what I love about this is that it does have an inside grid with basic um, dimensions and metric systems where it shows you guys you know the inches or you know basically where to cut for a precise cut because without this my lines would be looking like something off of Sesame Street so yeah now as you can see going by this side this this width is just not going to cut it so I'm actually going to flip it around and then go vertically and or horizontally facing you guys but this side works much better and it's wider 
and it's more than enough for the width and the height well not height but the width or dimensions how about that of this um, TV stand and you basically just peel it and be careful when you're unpeeling it because it will stick to each other or whatever on the other side and it can be a mess so I'm just placing it over carefully and again I'm measuring I've already measured how many inches I want to be left on the outside so I'm smoothing that out now and making sure that the air bubbles are gone and if you have a debit card please use something like that because you do not want those air bubbles to pop up after you're done and be careful because if, if you can see on the end on this area right here I kind of did scratch a little piece off and that's just because of the wood but I just peeled it back and it was just fine so just make sure that you're doing an even distribute of you know the pockets air pockets or whatever and I'm just going to fold from the inside well from the sides and most of this I am going to cut off because it is like excess like on the corners but you do need to leave a little bit on the sides and I'll show you guys in a few seconds why I did leave a little bit because of that weird looking place at the bottom on the side for I guess when you close it up that bar side so I'm just gonna show you guys how I cut the slits on that and make it pretty even and it doesn't have to be perfect perfect and if you do make mistakes like it's kind of clumpy on the ends you can cut like extra pieces and then paste it basically on top of it and with this pattern you really can't tell unless you're looking like super close but you can just use any excess paper to like you know put it on top and this is the side that I'm talking about that looks kind of crumbly looks weird this little bar right here so I'm going to cut slits into the sides of that and then that way the peel it'll stick like straight straight above it and it'll lay flatter instead of like having that little clump right there and I'm gonna do that on both sides and this is just basically pretty much it when you're trying to put the contact paper on you can see like on the sides it looks much better than just you know leaving it all uniform without cutting it and I'm cutting the excess paper off on the corners that makes it look kind of clumpy and I did later on I off camera I did place another thin strip on the sidebar to make it look smoother it's like basically putting on a laptop case you know <laughs> and this is the final product it looks much classier much classier than that boring wood and I mean if classic and basic is your style then by all means you can do what you want you can try different types of contact paper please ignore the shoes and everything that's in my living room right now just moving but yeah it looks much classier and I'm definitely going to make another one for my makeup tutorials and you know if you have any decor at home you know if you just want it to sit on the side somewhere like an end table you could also do that it's classy all you have to do is just put something on top but you can tell that the surface is very smooth and it does have like a laminate I'm trying to show it like with the shine a little bit from the window it's not like super glossy but it's like a glossy matte finish and it just looks really good in my opinion and it goes with my decor in my home. And this is basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned to my next upcoming home decor series. Well, you know, I guess you could say episodes. I'm going to build a vanity. And also, I'm going to put this paper in my bathroom and maybe even in my kitchen. Because I have white appliances. Comment below what you want me to see next or what you guys want to see me do next.